Welcome to the Make a Manic Magical World of Crafting. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make really cute house customizable Harry Potter bookmarks for your Harry Potter books and they're really fun and easy to make. I'm also going to be linking the corner bookmark into this video if you want to check that out, um, which I really think you should. But anyway, this is customizable to any house inspired from Redhead Art and Wizardworld.com and pretty easy to make actually so let's get started you're going to be needing a glue stick scissors a pencil and the house emblem you don't need to add this but i wanted to you're also going to be needing the house color papers i'm using blue and gray and we're going to start off this project by using any straight edge you can find and we're going to just trace along that two strips on each paper now don't worry if you're going to mess up this is all going to be erased later so that it does not affect our bookmarks and just trace both on both lines. So two strips on each paper, blue and gray. And once this is done, you can see I messed up a little because my paper was at the end of the notebook, but that's all right. Just go ahead and cut this out out. And it should look like this one that's cut it all out. I'm going to go ahead and erase all of those lead marks that we don't want on our paper. So once you've finished erasing that, it should look like this. You don't need to put in the fancy crisscross pattern. But anyway, once this is done, we're going to start gluing. We're going to be using a glue stick for this, or you can use liquid glue or hot glue. I just use a glue stick because it's easier. And we're going to put the first two strips, blue or grey, it doesn't matter, perpendicular to each other. And please make sure that you put glue on both strips because this is a very important part of our bookmark, starting off with that. Now we're going to bring on our next strips, blue or grey, it doesn't matter. And you're going to make sure it's perpendicular perpendicular to one of the strips and parallel to the other strip just like that and then do the same vice versa for the next strip so both of the pieces should now be crossing against each other and now we could just start with the actual part but just make sure that you're gluing really hard down here i decided to redo that part because it wasn't staying strong enough and i also went ahead and had to re parallelize the things because it's very important that you do that to keep your bookmark straight. Now we can start with the folding process and we're going to create a straight edge down. If you skip ahead in my video, you'll see that forms a straight edge and just keep folding it over each of the little pieces of paper. And when you're done, it's going to be a chevron pattern of blue, gray, blue, gray, or gray, blue, gray, blue, whichever one you chose to do first. And now I'm going to just put on a time lapse of how I completed it in case you guys are a bit confused. Just like that, keep on pulling it down and down until it progresses. Now I use a smaller piece of paper than in my Gryffindor one that I showed you earlier in the video. That's all right. So it's going to be a bit smaller. Once you find yourself in a place where it does not completely match up, then that's where you know to unfold that piece and just cut it off because it's not going to look nice and it's not going to get folded anymore. So as you can see, when I compare it to my Gryffindor bookmark, it is a lot smaller. Not much smaller actually, but it's a bit smaller because I used a smaller piece of paper. Um, but that's all right, it still fits my book, it still looks nice. And now we're going to do the next part, which is a little optional. It's with the house emblem. If you want to add it, you can. I wanted to, but you don't need to. Go ahead and cut it out, and then we're going to glue it on to our bookmark just like that please apply a lot of glue you don't want this coming off if it gets caught in the pages so make it as nice as a sticker you can also print this out on sticker paper i decided to just do it on regular printer paper so now your bookmark is as good as done you can add any feathers or little tethers or charms on if you like it's really nice and cute i really like it and i hope you guys liked it too I'm linking the corner bookmark video, so I hope you guys can watch that. And this is also just the colours for the houses, if you didn't know. Gryffindor is red and yellow. Ravenclaw, as you saw me do it, is blue and grey. Not too sure how to spell that, but it doesn't matter. And then we also have Hufflepuff, which is yellow and black. And then, I'm sorry Slytherins, if you're there, I could not find a pretty background for Slytherin, but you could be using green and grey. I hope you guys like this video, and check out my corner video. Bye!